Mishima, Japan's most notorious queer author, describes the importance of group and Japanese identity. The group was concerned with all those things that could never emerge from words. Sweat and tears and cries of joy or pain. If one probed deeper still, it was concerned with the blood that words could never cause to flow. For though verbal expression may convey pleasure or grief, it cannot convey shared pain. Though pleasure may be readily fired by ideas, only bodies placed under the same circumstances can experience a common suffering. Only through the group, I realized, through sharing the suffering of the group, could the body reach that height of existence that the individual alone could never attain. And for the body to reach that level, at which the divine might be glimpsed, a dissolution of the individuality was necessary. In this particular Japanese television show, straight men cross-dress as women for the approval of friends and family, thus showing an acceptance of cross-dressing that is very different from the U.S. and the West. <laughs> I would just say that it's the the level of acceptance of of queer of queers in Japan is the most comparable to America, um, probably among all around Southeast Asia area. You know, I haven't visited those countries specifically, but that's what I'm that's what I understand from what I've been told. Um, and from my experience in Japan, I could believe that. Um, the thing, it's a little bit different attitude they have towards it there, is that queer lifestyle is not necessarily this thing that you go around and talk about it. It's more like, it's accepted quietly. It's understood. You don't say it out loud. Um, you don't speak that, you don't necessarily say, I'm gay. Um, you just do it, and in your own time, in your own private space and then leave it at that.